Hey everyone, it is Chrissy at Pinnovate. This tutorial is for our absolutely adorable little mini wooden calendar. Uh, we get to interchange the months and the numbers and the date and you can use this every single day. So uh, follow along and we're gonna create this together. Okay, so let's go through all of your supplies together. In your kit, you're going to get a wooden board, white, red, and black paint, some sandpaper, a sponge brush, some makeup sponges for painting as well, some Velcro, a whole bunch of letters and numbers. The only other things that you're gonna need would be some masking tape and some scissors. So collect all of your things and we're gonna make this together. Okay, so the very first step is we need to sand our board. So with your sandpaper, just rub your board, especially along the edges. We don't want to have any slivers poking out anywhere. We want everything to be nice and soft to the touch so it is prepped for painting. Okay, so my board is all sanded. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a quick little wipe with some paper towel or you can use a baby wipe. I just wanna get all of that dust off of my board so it doesn't interfere uh, with my paint. Now we're ready to paint. All right, so to paint, I'm gonna have my nice sanded board and the first color we're going to use is white and I need my sponge brush as well. So I'm going to actually paint this entire thing white, including the sides. I want to use a nice thin coat to make sure that it dries evenly. And then if I want to, I'm going to apply a second coat to make sure that that white is nice and bright. So to do that, you're just going to dip your sponge brush into your paint and make sure that your paint is nice and flat. So long strokes back and forth, making sure that there's no lumps or bumps or clumps of paint in there and I'm going to cover my whole board to make sure that it is even and flat. So if you had anything that looked maybe like this, where it's shiny and lumpy, that's not going to dry, okay? So we wanna make sure that that is flat as can be. So you just use your brush and make sure that it is squished down and you wanna get the whole entire surface as well as all of the edges. Okay, so I have my first coat on my board. I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna apply a second coat. So it's very important that you allow that dry time to happen. If you go and try to put a second coat on right away, it's actually going to start pulling off the paint from underneath. So make sure that it is dry before you apply your second coat. Okay, so I'm all done painting. I have done two coats of paint on the top and on the edges. If you want to speed up the drying time in, be in between, you can definitely use a hair dryer. Uh, just a couple minutes on there and it is good to go nice and dry. Uh, so I am ready for my next step. So this is all painted. Now I want to measure out where I am putting my red strip at the very top. So to do that, you're going to need a couple of your letters as well as your masking tape. So I'm going to place my letters at the top just to kind of see where they fall. And I know that I'm going to want to have a little bit of red above and a tiny bit below. So close, but not all the way touching. Okay, so I have my letters lined up. I'm gonna take a piece of my masking tape here. So I have a little bit of room on the top and I'm going to leave a little bit of room on the bottom. And just mark that out and wrap it around the edges as well. So I know that this whole portion up here is going to be painted red. Okay, so I have my area taped out that I know that this top portion is going to be red where my letters are going to go for the month. So this is taped out with masking tape and I have a makeup sponge and I have my red paint. So with my makeup sponge, I'm using the biggest, flattest side. I'm taking a small amount of my red paint like that and I'm actually gonna dab most of it off. So in this part, less is more. I can always add more paint, but it's very tricky to take it off. So using a little bit of paint, I'm actually going to dab straight up and down rather than brushing. So with that dabbing motion, it actually prevents it from bleeding underneath the masking tape. 
So straight up and down. And I'm going to cover this whole top area with red, including the top and the edges. All right, so I've covered that top area in one coat. If you want it to be nice and bright and vibrant, again, just allow this to dry. You can use your hair dryer to speed this up and then apply a second or possibly a third coat just depending on how vibrant and red you would like it. All right, so I have applied three coats of red up here and it is completely dry on the top and the edges. I'm just gonna peel off my masking tape and we have a nice straight line. All right, so now I'm moving on to my letters and my numbers. You can actually do this step while your backboard is drying as well. Uh, if you wanted to do everything kind of all at once, you can go back and forth if you like. Um, but now that I'm on to my letters and numbers, uh, I wanna make sure that everything is faced the correct direction. Uh, you're gonna have a whole bunch of things that maybe don't make sense at the moment, but you'll understand in a minute. Uh, you're gonna have two number ones to make 11, and you're gonna have two number twos to make 22. Other than that, you should have one of everything else, uh, and you're gonna have a whole bunch of random letters. It is not the whole alphabet. It is the only the letters that are needed to make the shortened version of each month. So for example, there is January, um, and they're also interchangeable. So all of a sudden, if you wanted to make June, you're just gonna pop that out. If you wanted to make July, you're gonna pop that out. Uh, so they're all interchangeable for the three letters of the shortened version of the month. So now, to paint these, you are doing the exact same technique that I just did with the red at the top of my board. You're using a makeup sponge and a dabbing motion. So making sure that every letter and every number are facing the right direction. Again, you're going to take the back of your makeup sponge, the biggest part, take a small dab of black paint. All of these are going to be black. I'm going to dab it off. Again, less is more. I can always add more, but if I use too much and I fill in all of these tiny holes with paint, it's very tricky to get it out. So less is more, you can always add more. I'm using a straight up and down dabbing motion. That way I'm not getting paint everywhere and I don't have to worry about the sides on here. So again, straight up and down. I'm gonna do one coat, see how it looks. If I want a second coat, I'll go ahead and do a second coat once it is dry. So I did two coats of black paint on my letters and numbers here, and I just wanna make sure that everything is completely dry to the touch before we move on. All right, so we are ready to start assembling our months and our days onto our board. So again, my board is fully dry and my letters are fully dry. So this is where we're going to use your Velcro. So in your kit, you're going to get some type of Velcro. So it could come as a roll, it could come as like pre-cut little pieces, or it could actually come as um, like sticky little Velcro dots. So whatever type of Velcro you get, it's great just as long as you have some Velcro. Now, you are going to get two parts to the Velcro. So you have like the hard, rough, pointy side, and then you're also going to have the soft side that sticks to it. So this is very, very soft, okay? So there's two different types uh, that are going to stick together. The first thing we're gonna be using is the hard type, the spiky, pointy type that is feels like sandpaper. So collect that first. All right, so I am ready to start putting my Velcro on my board. So I have my rough Velcro, the spiky sandpapery type, and I have my scissors because I'm gonna probably have to trim it down a little bit smaller, and I have some letters at the top to sort of line up with. So. I'm gonna start by lining up my letters at the top about where I want them to go. So I think that's pretty good. Remembering that letters can be uh, moved around and everything. So um, just keep in mind that other letters are gonna go in that same spot. So with my rough 
Velcro, I want to cut a very small piece, so probably even half the size of this. So just a tiny small piece is going to fit behind those letters so you don't see them. So using your scissors, just give it a little snip. Again, this depends on what type of Velcro you have. Uh, if it comes in the strip, you're gonna have to do uh, a little bit of cutting. If it's already pre-cut, just a, just a bit of cutting as well. Um, the dots, again, you'll have to just make sure that they are all covered in behind. So now that I have this small spiky strip, I'm sticking this part to my board. So all of the rough pieces are going onto my board. All right, so I have my uh, rough, sided Velcro and I've peeled off the back so it is nice and sticky and again this is going to the board not to the letters so just underneath where my letter is going to be I'm going to press that down to my board and just make sure that that would cover it up there we go I'm gonna do that for all of my letters all the way across again I'm sticking this down to the board There, so excellent. So I have all of that pointy Velcro, the spiky Velcro on my board underneath. Okay, so my letters are on there. Now for my numbers, I'm actually gonna start with my 22. Just because they're a little bit bigger and wider, I wanna make sure that I am placing it uh, where it needs to be. If I did my ones, I could accidentally place them too close. So I'm gonna start with my bigger numbers first. And again, I have my spiky Velcro. Okay, the point rough one, and this is going to the board. I'm gonna put it in two spots, at the very top and at the very bottom, just because they're a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna place one there, and one underneath as well, for both of these. Awesome. There we go, so now I have all of my Velcro attached onto my board. All right, so now that this part is done, we don't have to worry about the spiky Velcro anymore because that's finished. We're gonna use the soft Velcro, so the one that's nice and soft to the touch, it's nice and um, feels kind of like a peach. So we're gonna use that Velcro for all of our numbers and letters, and they're gonna go on the back here. So at the top, at the bottom if you want, uh, and so now they can be interchangeable. So again, you can trim these down uh, if needed, just to a smaller size, and you're going to place them on the backs of all of your letters and numbers. Once all of your numbers and letters have their, their soft Velcro attached to them, you can go ahead and put all of your uh, dates onto your board and they will just stick together. Thank you so much for following along. I hope you had a great time making this because it is such a cute project and you can use it every single day and it is adorable. So we would love to see how they turned out. So please tag us in your photos on Instagram at Pinnovate and DIY Delivery. We're also on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. We have a YouTube channel where you're watching this right now. And we're on Pinterest as well. So that's actually part of where our name came from. So um, please follow us and take us. And thank you again for joining us and following along. And we'll see you later. Bye.